Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, I'm going to go over a couple different things here. Number one is actually, I want to say thank you very much for the support that you guys have given me for coming back into playing some Red Dead. And number two, I'm going to basically go over and cover how I was able to max out the brand new pass, the Quick Draw Club pass, within actually only a, a few hours of time. Now I'm going to show it to you guys right now. That this is not even selling full sets because I actually have quite a few of four. I didn't pay any gold. If you don't believe me, you guys can actually go ahead and look at my video that I released yesterday. And you're going to see that number one, I got all of my gold back for participating in it. And I actually gained and improved my gold capabilities and not lost any gold. Plus, my money has actually increased dra drastically as, as well. I think I've actually made over $1,000 within a 24-hour period. And that's not selling any of the collection sets now you're probably wondering how i was able to do this um and then i'm actually going to show you guys that i was actually able to actually do it because you might not necessarily believe that as well and then you guys can see club rewards rank 25 in the left hand portion of your screen and we also have this proving that i was able to get all of this as well so i got all my gold back made 250 dollars in the process um and we got a treasure map that i can't quite use yet because i already own one of these all right, so the first thing that I actually did is I started selling my Moonshine because Moonshine actually has a ton of experience points when you guys sell it. It is a ton and I'm repeating uh, a ton and you're gonna go up a couple ranks just from doing one Moonshine sell. I'm gonna get more into the Moonshine specifics into, into another video because a lot of people think that it's been drastically nerfed, not the case, but I'm gonna show you guys in a separate video a little bit more about that information going forward. Now, I'm going to jump over into what I was able to do. I started because uh, it, we're going to be using a program. Uh, literally, it helps you guys find Mad Nazar. It helps you guys find different collection sets. There's a lot of other things that I highly recommend that you guys check out this website with. But it's going to give you a lot of information to basically get a lot of experience points quickly in order to max out your quick drop uh, club as fast as you possibly can. You guys get four weeks to actually complete this anyway little over three weeks i guess now going forward but honestly it's really not that hard you guys could do showdowns you guys could do selling of your trading business i'm not really one to do a lot of stuff with the trading business number one is it takes a lot of time and effort for it and the amount of money is not that great in my opinion you get 500 dollars for about an hour and a half worth of work but you constantly have to be micromanaging it and then you have to worry about potential griefers along the way uh, you can do bounty missions, you could do other things as well, but I like to actually do collecting. Collecting has been one of my things that I've loved to do in the game for a very long amount of time. So let's jump over into uh, the map, the collector map, and take a look at everything. And I'm going to do my best to put the link down in the description. I am typically horrible at that. But let's do that right now. All right, so over here is the collector map that I was actually using yesterday, and I've actually used this for a long time uh, based on the varieties of different uh, things and the different sets that they actually are part of going forward. Not really going to get into all of that, but they do change daily, and it changes every day at about 7 p.m., Obviously, that change will that time will change whenever daylight savings time comes into existence uh, later this year, and then also again in the springs, and then changes in the fall, etc. So, how was I able to actually do it within just a couple hours? What I did is I took a look at this map, and I said, "All right, where are some big groups of treasure and collector sets that I can actually take a look at that uh, that might give me a lot of." collector items in a very short amount of time now typically around saint denis is one of the better options and we can actually take a look at all of this right over here we zoom in you know over here we've got four just right here another two cards there we have a family heirloom another card an egg a bracelet all kinds of stuff just chilling right here a couple nighttime blood flowers that you guys can only find between 10 p.m and 5 a.m in the game so every roughly 40 minutes or so you'll have access to that 
but then just north of it in the blue water marsh area and going just a little bit more north you can see all of the more collector items that we guys that you have access to and basically what i did is i did all of lemoyne yesterday now this is different than what it was yesterday so it's not the same items that i was able to collect but i did all of lemoyne and pretty much by the time i got done with that and then every time that my moonshine shack was available to be sold which was every 48 minutes based on my current role rank with that and then going back and forth and delivering it i was doing it basically once per hour and within a few hours i was able to collect all of this do my moonshine shack a couple times i think it was like three hours total and then i was able to do my moonshine sale three times and then just do a lot of collecting in the meantime so in this case after you were done like with lemoyne where would you go from there well I would probably go up to Van Horn because there's five items just right there, six items right there. There's two just to the west of it. Typically right around Valentine is usually another really good group of them. You can see that there's three right here in Cumberland Forest area. Uh, two more just the east, two more at the Heartland oil fields. Uh, Emerald Ranch doesn't really have a ton, but there are a few items that you guys could go ahead and pick up over there. Some of them are kind of hard to see with this map so you guys are gonna have to look at it yourself you can see that over here there's a random jewelry and things like that that you can deal with and then over in blackwater typically there's quite a few there's only two today i think yesterday had like six in just that general area and then aurora basin actually had like five just sitting over here so i was like blackwater aurora basin and then i collected things along the way i think there was actually a group of a few things like in this general area that i could actually go ahead and collect as well um thieves landing usually has a few and then right usually right around armadillo and then tumbleweed usually are some of the better ones pretty much the big cities is typically where you want to focus you do get more experience points for like the lost jewelry anything that uses the metal detector and the field shovel is going to be the best and that will help you guys do it really really quickly so that's what i was doing i would just bounce back and forth if you're not really into collecting you might not necessarily be able to do it as quickly however if you get the entire set of one of your items and then sell it not only are you going to get the money for participating in that sell you're going to get a ton of experience points it's about 1500 experience points for delivering that that will easily get you up a rank or two depending on what your current rank in that quick draw club is actually at and this is honestly super easy to do and will should only take you a few hours and honestly if you don't want to do it all at one time you could easily do this within the next week. Pick a good grouping, spe specifically Lemoyne County. Do all of them in this area right in here. And then just come back the next day and do the same thing. You don't have to do it all at one time. There's no need for it. You have four weeks to do this. Just do a couple every single day and you'll easily get your gold back that you paid for it. Get all the items in it. And then eventually, if you get all of the other ones all completed before the Halloween pass comes out, then you'll get the Halloween pass completely for free. But anyway, I hope that this video does help you guys out. And if it does, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, you two, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.